Our office and the assembly member are very concerned about the safety of these types of billboards. I don't know about you, but when I'm driving up Hollywood Boulevard or driving up Vine, coming towards that big digital billboard that they have above that complex there, this is how I drive. Right? And when you look at all the people next to you, that's how they're driving to. They're all doing like this. Those are distracting signs. They are built to distract. And in fact, the federal government is very interested in finding out exactly how distracting these signs are. And so the Federal Highway Administration is doing a study. They're doing a two-phase study. The first phase of it is due very soon, in early 2009. And what it will essentially call for is, let's do some more study, let's find out precisely how distracting these signs are. The second phase of the study is due out in 2010, and at that point they're gonna do a number of field tests to find out what's happening there. We wanted to delay uh, construction of these types of billboards or conversion until the year 2012, January 1st, 2012, to give the legislature enough time to respond and figure out what it wants to do on a broader scale. And we hope we can get your support for this piece of legislation. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any other questions about legislation, please see Damien after the meeting. Also, after the meeting. Okay. Also, if you have questions for our speakers this evening, the green forms are on the table. Please uh, fill them out and Matt will pick it up. Um, Wayne, do you have an update? No. Um, okay, what about Joan? Lexi? Joan? Calico. Where's Joan? Over there. Come on up. Uh, Joan Calico represents uh, Councilman Jack Weiss. Wait a minute, you only have about four more months to accomplish everything that needs to be done in Sherman Oaks. That's it. Uh, uh, Joan, update. Happy New Year, everybody. So, thank you. Happy New Day, Happy New Era. Um, but a good time for creating solutions, being part of the solution. So it's a good time for us. We still have a lot of work in the office. The phones are ringing off the hook. Nothing stopped. Uh, still making calls to building and safety. And I've got to tell you, I'd like to give them kudos because they've been running around like chickens with their head cut off to these construction sites and giving orders to comply so people clean up their mess. It's a tough time for construction. There's no ordinance that says you must complete construction by this date, but they need to keep their site clean. So we're working on that diligently. I also want to let you know that the Studio Oaks Neighborhood Park Steering Committee is having a public community meeting on January 29th. It will be at Bistro Gardens. Everybody is welcome to attend to discuss this new Studio Ops neighborhood walking park coming up. Uh, we have some other exciting news going on. I know I've been talking about the live feed video cameras coming into Sherman Oaks. The cameras are here. The monitors are in. As soon as LAPD is trained, we will make an announcement when they start running. Thank you. Thank you. Lexi. Hi everyone, I'm Lexi Richards. I'm from Councilwoman Wendy Grohl's office and we cover the area of Sherman Oaks north of the boulevard. And um, one of our big projects in recent, uh, well years actually, I was gonna say months, but it's been years now, is the Library Square project. As many of you know, um, the good news is the design and cost estimates for the bump outs are complete and ready to go. We should be getting a construction date shortly. Construction will begin very quickly after that, and they should be completed within the next few months. I don't have exact dates, but I will be keeping you posted as soon as I do. But you can expect it to be completed within the next few months. Uh, so thank you to Nancy Khalil, as always. You should all give her a big round of applause for making that happen and being on everyone's um, list and <laughs> keeping us all on our toes and making sure we were doing our jobs and, and we're so happy to see that this will finally be coming to Sherman Oaks. Uh, that's really all I have for you tonight but I'm always here to answer questions or help you with anything in the area. Thanks. Thank you and uh, let's now introduce, can you hear me? Back. Now introduce Barry Worth from the Mayor's Office. Hi everyone, good evening. My name is Barry Worth and I am the new West Valley Area Director for Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa. You might be wondering why is the West Valley Area Director in Sherman Oaks. 
Um, incidentally, I actually cover Sherman Oaks in Studio City as well, so it's a pleasure to be here and to meet you all. Um, speaking of chickens with their heads cut off, Joan, I actually run around on Wednesday nights to try and hit all the neighborhood council meetings in the West Valley and Sherman Oaks in Studio City. So I'm a little bit like a chicken with the head cut off. So I can't stay around to answer any questions, but I did want to come by to introduce myself and to give you all my contact information in case you ever have any questions or would like to reach me. Um, I can be reached at 818-778-4990. And I'll also leave my business card with, um, with you guys and with your board so that you guys have my email address as well. It's B-A-R-R-I dot W-O-R-T-H at lacity.org and I also left a couple of recent press releases on the table over there for your information to check out after the meeting and um, one final thing I just wanted to let you all know the mayor is hosting a housing forum which might be of interest to a few representatives from this group um, I don't know if we can accommodate a group this size but we would like to have a few representatives from this group and I'll send you the information it's actually next Wednesday evening at the Van Nuys City Hall so um, we would love your input about the new housing the new housing policy for the city of Los Angeles and I really hope to hear from you all soon and thank you very much for having me Yes. Again, my phone number is 818-778-4990. And I'm right down the street in the Van Nuys City Hall building. Okay, uh, one question. We know why we should call Joan. We know why we should call Lexi. Why would we want to call you? What can you do for these people here? Okay, well, in 30 seconds. <laughs> you know, um, the city actually covers a lot of the same stuff. The difference is um, the city council office is a direct contact for your particular district. I work for the I work for the mayor. So if you have questions about the mayor's policies, or you would like a mayor's representative at another meeting coming up soon, um, you know, if you have specific questions, I can help you and go into more detail. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to now have Tamara coming up. And while Tamara is coming up here, if there are any other deputies here that have not introduced themselves, please stand up and introduce themselves. Anyone here? Okay. Um, does everyone know Tamara? Yeah. No. You ever heard of Cher? This is Tamara. Um, okay. Who does she represent tonight? City attorney. No, no, she's not here representing the city attorney. She is here representing the school board. She's a member of the school board, so she's putting that hat on. Tamara? Thank you. I feel like Cher, I'm going to stand up here in like a bathing suit and sing on an aircraft carrier or something uh, with a big wig. Um, I'm Tamara Gallatin. I am uh, actually, I was going to come tonight and talk about city attorney stuff. But almost every single person who I talked to tonight wanted to talk about LAUSD stuff, so I am, will talk about that. And just the, the budget crisis in a nutshell, because just want to let everyone know what is going on, because um, many of you might have grandkids in the district or, or still care deeply about public education. This is the deal. This year for uh, the LA Unified's budget, the, the money that we got from Sacramento, all of our money comes from Sacramento, a little bit comes from the federal government. We took a $400 million budget cut, which was about a 10% budget cut. So that meant that a lot of programs were cut, a lot of positions that weren't filled right now, there was a freeze put on, there was... Uh, we made, we made cuts, but a lot of them were easy cuts. We deferred stuff to next year and those types of things for $400 million. Uh, the legislature uh, in Sacramento and the, the governor came back a few months ago and said, um, you're going to have to cut more mid-year. We don't know what yet. So right now, it is the end of January. Uh, school is still in session, and we are hearing from the legislature, we still don't know how much money you have to cut, but it's going to be somewhere between $200 million and $400 million, and you have to do it between basically the end of January and June. Over 83% of LA Unified's budget